Welcome back to another lecture of Swift UI Crash Course series. And in today's video, we'll be discussing about pop-up and sheet presentation in Swift UI. So many a times we have a screen, the main screen, and then a detailed screen. And on click of this, we want to open the detail screen to show the detail. Uh, let's say on the main screen, we have the list of movies. And on the detail screen, we want to show the description, detail, image, and everything about the movie. There are many scenarios where we want to use these kind of uh, pop-ups and uh, sheet presentation. So today we'll be looking at one of the example on how we can present some pop-up or uh, a sheet. So let's jump right into the code. So here I have created a main view. So pop-up content view is like a main screen. And on click of a button, this show pop-up button, we want to present this pop-up view. Inside the pop-up view, we just have a, this is a pop-up text, nothing more. So <laughs> currently button has no action. So when I click on this, nothing happens. So to present this uh, pop-up view as a sheet, we will have to write some code. So first of all, we will have to create a state variable. State where is pop-up presented, which will store whether the pop-up is currently being displayed on the screen or not. Okay. And on this click of this button, we want to pop up, uh, we want to toggle this uh, state variable. Now, here we will add dot sheet. So this is the modifier which is used to present a sheet. And here it is asking for a variable. So we'll pass this is pop-up presented. Is pop-up presented. And this will be a binding variable. So we will have to add a dollar to it. And then in the content, we need to pass the content that we want to show in the pop-up. So currently we want to show pop-up view. So we'll just pass this. Now when I click on the show pop-up button, you'll see that screen is appearing and we can drag it to dismiss it. So this is how easily you can present a sheet in the Swift UI. Now this is called sheet. There's one more thing which is called popover. So let's see how we can present a popover. So we will write popover, just like sheet, we will use dot popover. And it also has the same, uh, same arguments like is presented and content. Here also we'll be passing the same thing. Is present, is pop-up presented and inside the content we'll be passing pop-up view. Let's just comment this dot sheet code now. So we can see the pop-up. Okay, the preview has reloaded. And now that I click on it, you will see that it is exactly the same as dot sheet. So what's the difference then? Because you can see that even when we are using dot sheet, we had the same result. And even when we are using dot popover, it has the same result. So what's the difference? So the difference is not visible in iPhone because it has small uh, frame. But if we talk about uh, iPads and Mac, then the uh, then the difference is clearly visible. Let us run this inside a Mac so we can see the difference. So once I run on this Mac, let us just wait for this to build. Okay. So now that it is running on Mac, once I click on show pop-up, you will see uh, the pop-up is being presented like this, a small box. This is a pop-up. Okay. Now let's just uh, try to present a sheet inside Mac to see whether it is different from pop-over or not. And now that I click on show pop-up, you will see that it is being presented on whole area. So now you can clearly see the difference between dot sheet and dot pop-up. Although in iPhone, it is uh, almost same. 
But when we talk about iPads and Mac, pop-up and sheet are actually two different things and both have a different uh, look in UI. So this is how easy it is to present a pop-up or sheet. We just need to pass a binding variable to it. Like we passed is pop-up presented. And uh, then we need to pass the content, whatever content that we want to show. Currently we wanted to show pop-up view. So I just passed pop-up view. You can pass anything. So I think that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, please just let me know in the comments. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.